Fairness Creativers presents a word for every generation that knows no fashion. Greetings. I hope and trust I find you well. We have one more experience as we wrap up our working week and glide into the weekend. Come with me once again to the book of Exodus. The chapter is three. We want to look at verse 14 as we linger on the mountain of the Lord for the last time. It reads as follows in the Amplified Version. Then God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, You shall say this to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. Then God also said this to Moses, This is what you shall say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial name to all generations. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word as we call upon his name in prayer. Let us pray, my friends. Kind and gracious Father in the heavens above, thank you, dear Lord, for the privilege of calling upon your name. Dear Lord, you have been the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, and the God of Isaac. But above all, you are still our God to this day. Dear Lord, as we go into this weekend, how we pray that those whom you have sent to speak unto us, we may receive them, for they have been sent of thee. And above all, may your word find fertile ground in our hearts, so that we may love you, we may follow you, we may serve you, and remain loyal and faithful unto thee. Until we meet again on Monday, bless one and all. In Jesus' name we pray and ask, Amen and Amen. My dear friends, just five points to carry us through. I'm so excited to share for the last time from the mountain of God. This is what God says at point number one, I am. That's his name, I am. What does this mean to me? What does it tell me? He is a God who is present. He, this is simple English. He is a God who is ever there. He is a God who is continually there. He is not the God who was there, but the God who is here. He is not the God who will be there in the future, but he is the God who is here. As he speaks to Moses, he says, Moses, this you must know. I am who I am. I am the God who is not caused. I am the self-existential God. I am the Jehovah who operates within time as he comes outside of time and he can step outside time. I have only come into time so that I will be with you. I am the God of time. I am. I am the God who transcends eternity. I am the God who is there from eternity past and I am already in the eternity of the future, but I still want to walk every day with you because I am the present God. In the days of plenty, I am present. In the days of want, I remain present. In the days of our youth, when we are beautiful and muscles are turgid, we do not even think we need God. He says, I am present in the days of our old age when we have lost our loved ones and we are lonely and amnesia and, uh, and dementia are setting in. God says, I am there even when you have forgotten me. In the days of our love and in the days when we do not have anyone to love us, in the days when we have nothing, God says, I am present in the days of plenty. When we do not need him, in the days when our fridges are full, God says, I am present. In the days when we are retrenched and we have nothing else and we find ourselves even in captivity like the children of Israel, God says, I am present. I do not know what your week has been like. God still reminds you, now it's a Friday. We last met on Monday. I was present. Even though it's, not a, it's a nasty one, I was present. Was it a good one? I was there even when you're having fun. I am the present God. At point number two, not only is he a God of a time, not only is he a God who is present, but he is a God who is historical. He says unto you, listen, 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 child of Israel, I am the God of your fathers. If you are tempted to vet me, 
This you must know, I have been vetted by your fathers. They tested me and they proved me O and O. They have found no ought with me. There is nothing wrong with me. I have been God before you were there. None of you is my age mate. I am God. That's what makes me God. I am the God of your fathers. And even though they have proved me and found no ill in me. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm interested in the words of Joshua. As he says, is there any who has found any evil in God? That he can say he can no longer be God. I would rather have someone else as my God. I will have an idol as my God. So be it if you have found any evil in God. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. He is the God of our fathers. He is the God who has been tried and tested. He is the God who has not lost a battle. He is the God who has not failed. And he says, Moses, go and tell them, I am the God who has seen their fathers through. I am the God who has seen you come to be what you are. And at point number three, I've said this, let's quickly revise. Number one, he says at number three, I'm the God of Abraham. Who is Abraham, the father of faith? You'll find him in the Hebrews uh, chapter 11. That's where you're going to find him. I am the God of those who live by faith. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. God says, I am the God of those who live by faith. All the faith you need is as little as a mustard seed. I am your God. I am the God of those who say, faith of our fathers living still. Faith of our fathers. Our faith looks up to thee, O Lord. And number four, he is the God of Isaac. Isaac, the righteous man. Isaac, the one who loved the Lord. Isaac, the one who prayed for his barren wife and she conceived. Isaac, I am the God of those who are righteous. I am the God of those who say, Lord, we want to walk with you. Oh, let me walk with thee, my God, as Enoch walked with thee in days of old. And at point number five, as we near the end, I'm the God of Jacob. Who is Jacob? Jacob the usurper, Jacob the thief, I am the God of those who seek a second chance. Go to the children of Israel and tell them, I know between Monday and Friday you've already messed up big time. I'm still your God. You are not beyond redemption. You are not out of reach. My love continues to pursue. Surely goodness and mercy follow you wherever you go so that you may come back. Come back, sinner. Come back home. Come back home. He is the God of second chances. Go and tell them, I am the God of second chances. This is my name, not just for today, but forever. If you can live past forever, then change my name. But if your life will not last for forever, that is my name. This is the name that I shall be remembered by. For all the generations, remember he is a God who is present. Remember he is the God of our fathers. Remember he is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Above all, he is your God and my God. May he be our God this weekend until we meet again on Monday. Until then, blessings and peace.